you are personally handling four or five different funds along with your responsibility of a CIO at Kotak. Uh, few of your funds are way large. I think they are around 30,000 crores, 40,000 crores if I am not wrong. In the social media there is, which is known for making noise, we always hear that the size of the fund really matters. If fund crosses a particular size, it will be very difficult for the fund manager to buy or sell or it will be very difficult for him to give a superior return. Whether this, this is really true, uh, we need little more clarity because this is the one question which we get. See, just see, uh, very recently one of the particular mutual fund scheme, NME crossed 4000. I am selling that mutual fund scheme maybe from 2004 5. At that time also there was a question telling that, sir, NME is so big, how much is it? You understood? We yes. remember those customers, we talked to them, look, this is a, it has cost 4000. This is also one such question where size uh, has a barrier where you may not be able to give a better return. Can you explain a little bit more for us? Sridhar, uh, allow me to ask you a counter question. If whatever suggestions that you made, which you alluded to uh, uh, a large set of investors uh, uh, talking about, Correct. if that was true, then it would have been so easy to select the likely outperformer in terms of funds, right? You just go and pick small size funds 100%. and that should give you ideally much better returns. The biggest challenge is noise. Correct. The biggest challenge so is you noise. You just do an empirical study yeah. and take funds which are smallest in, in each of the categories and compare those returns with the largest or the pool of larger that funds and smaller yeah. funds. And you compare it over different time periods Correct. and see the answer will be in front of you. Correct. So there is no such thing as small funds deliver better returns. It may have happened. There is no truth in large funds underperforming. It may have happened in certain cases, in certain market phases. Okay. Every active fund goes through cycles. There will be periods of very, very large outperformance. There could be periods of underperformance as okay. well. But that doesn't mean that size alone is a determinant of future returns. Okay. If that was the case, as I said, it would have been so easy to select funds and just go and uh, invest in funds which are smaller in size. Right? It, it doesn't work that way. Yes, there are advantages and disadvantages of size. That's a separate question to answer. However, okay. the size alone doesn't mean that it is going to drive returns one way or the other.